More cases of the virus are being reported across the country, with cases in the U.S. now around 100. Washington remains the worst hit state with 11 deaths in 70 confirmed cases. And most of those deaths now, remember, they originate from a single nursing home in the Seattle area. Authorities tell us another 231 people are under what they are calling public health supervision. So that means they are at risk of having been exposed. Now, eight people in Clark County are also awaiting test results. Vice President Mike Pence in Washington right now meeting with the governor there, Jay Inslee, to get the federal and state government on the same page. We are expecting a live news conference in just about an hour or so from the two of them. We will carry that live for you, and it's expected to start at about five minutes after five o'clock. So again, we will switch to that in about an hour here. Starting today, state and local counties at top health officials are also updating the public now twice a week week on what it is exactly that they're doing to try to keep everybody safe, particularly Oregonians, as cases of the coronavirus continue to spread. Our Valina Jones was at today's meeting. So Valina, what are they saying? What are you learning? Well, Dan and Jennifer, health officials here today admit that the virus has spread quicker than they thought here in the United States. But here in Oregon, the cases remain at three. Now, those three cases all have no links to travel outside of the country. Today, during a press conference, health leaders tell us despite the broader CDC regulations announced this week that would allow for anyone to be tested for the coronavirus. State leaders tell us here in Oregon with only 1500 tests available, that is not the case. Within the existing public health laboratory, I don't know that we could expand to meet the CDC criteria across all 4.4 million Oregonians who might go in and request a test. You know, that's a single facility, but the commercial facilities will spread out that burden. Current supplies only allow for 40 people a day to be tested. Currently, the state is testing around 10 to 20 people. Because of the limited supplies, people who are hospitalized or have viral pneumonia will take priority. Health officials also adding that if you are sick, you should stay home. Washing your hands and covering your mouth when you're sick still remain the top advice. Now, unless there are any other confirmed cases here in the state of Oregon, the next press meeting that we are expecting to hear from health officials here at the Oregon Health Authority is on Monday. Again, like you guys said, we will be hearing from them now twice a week until we can get a handle on this. Reporting live from the Oregon Health Authority building, Felina Jones, Point Six News. We